Bill Lewis is a computer scientist and has worked in research and taught most of his life, most recently during genetics, doing genetics research at the Broad, uh, Broad Institute of MIT. He has taught at Stanford and Tufts universities and works for several large corporations, including FMC, Sun Microsystems, and Nokia Data. Four years ago, when Occupy Boston started, Bill went down to Dewey Square, talked to people there, and realized that they were saying the same things he'd been saying, only that they were getting international attention. So he stayed. Over the past four years, Bill has been involved in hundreds of marches, rallies, and protests, and millions and millions of meetings. He has carried signs, given speeches, and had some interesting, intense interactions with officers of the law. On Wednesday, Bill testified at the Judicial Committee meeting considering a bill to establish that corporations are not people and money is not speech. Tomorrow we will march with Larry Lessig and the New Hampshire Rebellion aimed at forcing all presidential candidates to address money and politics. He is an Eagle Scout returned Peace Corps volunteer and a member of the Massachusetts Republican Party. He will be joining the feminist anti-war group Code Pink in Cuba next week. Thanks for uh, our next panelist is. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, you're going to do it. I'll just start off and we'll do this thing. It is a great pleasure to be here, obviously. My name is Bill Lewis, and I want to ask one simple question Who would like to live in a better world? I mean, yeah. of course. Let me tell you what my better world looks like, and let's see if we agree. I want a world where all the air is safe to breathe, all the water is safe to drink, and all the soil safe to farm. Where whatever pollution we do create, we isolate it from the surrounding environment and keep people safe from its effect. Do you agree? I want a world where every person has the opportunity to work 40 hours a week and make enough to live on. Where welfare, food stamps, and homeless shelters hardly exist because they are not needed where prisons are virtually empty because people are too busy leading good lives to turn to crime, where the police actually are there to protect and serve, and where corporations exist solely for the creation of goods and services, and we the people pass the laws that define what they can do, not vice versa. I want a world free from war, racism, and oppression, where every person is endowed with certain inalienable rights, and that among these rights are life liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But how far we are from that world. At Occupy Cincinnati, we haven't even got to march yet, and we were occupying the wood. All of a sudden, the cops came and raided. Without any answers, they popped in tear gas bombs, leaving six-year-olds to choke on tear gas. The here is a friend of mine from West Virginia when they had a chemical spill in the river system, I went down for three weeks, I drove a pickup truck. I love this guy. I drank contaminated water all my life from uh, Massey uh, coal mines who was actually on the back of this hill here, on the top of it. Around 16, I learned that I had a kidney disease. They said their exact words would be a time, a waste of time and money to get a kidney transplant. While we're doing this, I want you to think, what do all of these examples have in common? <laughs> expenses for her to cover her mortgage, and they foreclosed a vow on her, and we didn't like that idea. Uh, thank you, Abigail, for everyone to be here to fight. Did you fight me? And I'm here to fight. Why fight? Did you fight everything we've done to negotiate? So I'm going to fight them. I'm giving them a chance to finish.
chose to arrest him and not me? I don't know. And then you get to hold signs sometimes. Humor signs are best. Signs that are ironic and funny at the same time. <laughs> and as many of you may know, Occupy Wall Street, we have our very own baseball team, the Corporate Tax Dodgers, mm -hmm. and their uh, cheerleaders, the Corporate Loopholes, and now we are going to sing our new national anthem, Everybody Up, of America, AT&T, that's a global time warner. IBM, Goldman Sachs, and Boeing, and the Horizons, and the <laughs> Can you get the lights? <laughs> so what do all of these things have in common? Let's do a show of hands. How many people think that it is perfectly reasonable for a person to work hard their entire life, play by the rules, and still get evicted? How many people think that isn't the way they want their system to work? Is it? Is it? It's it's not. not. <laughs> You're against it, so you think it's a bad idea. How many people think that Massey Oil should not be allowed to dump their coal slurries into the water system and kill people? How many people think that banks, when they fail, should go out of business and not get bailed out and give their CEOs bonuses? So. The commonality is, if we were living in a true democracy, those things wouldn't have happened. And why are we not living in a true democracy? Because we are officially a representative democracy, and our representatives are getting bought out. 60% of the laws they tell us are passed on behalf of corporations and clearly are not good for the people. And time and time again, we see exactly the same thing happening. Money comes in, and our rights go out. The official tax rate for corporations in America is 35%. The actual tax rate paid is 11%. We give away $400 billion to our richest corporations for nothing. For $400 billion, we could hire every single unemployed person in this country at $40,000 a year. But it is in the interest of a very small number of people for their short-term profit, not even their long-term profit, to keep things in the status quo. So, they say, I came here, I'm the activist. Cool. I want you to do something. I want you to participate in your democracy, and in particular, I want you to come out this September, October, and the beginning of November, and do exactly this. Find a little up here. Excuse me, do you believe that corporations are not people? and that we, the citizens of the country, have the right to pass laws to determine what the corporations can do, and not vice versa? Uh, the corporations are not people. Yes. That's a long question. We are trying to pass an amendment to the Constitution of Massachusetts to say precisely that, that corporations are not people, and money is not speech, that we, the human beings, get to determine our democracy. Are you a voter in Massachusetts? Say yes. Sure. <laughs> Great. What town do you live in? Malden? Oh, that's wonderful. Would you sign your name here, print your name next to it if you're not too neat, and then only your street address. And I want you to come out and do this with me and with Nick in September.
and now I will leave and let other people talk. We will, we will tell you the details. You've got all the details with you. Actually, I was ready to head out the door. You've got to come Okay. So let's let's go with the other people, and I will sit down. I've had my stay, and I'll be happy to talk more. All right. Thank you.